Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today we're diving into some wild claims made by Dame Dash about Diddy. That's right, Dame Dash is stirring the pot again, suggesting that the bad boy boss might have some questionable practices with Ciroc Vodka. Grab your drinks, because this one's gonna be juicy. So, what exactly did Dame Dash say? During an interview on his America New Network, he implied that Diddy might be spiking Ciroc to turn rappers gay. He remarked, if his hustle is putting stuff in people's drinks, he made a liquor. That's the illest shit in the world. He's raising questions about the integrity of the drinks at these parties. Dash seems to think that if Diddy is secretly undercover gay, it could explain why hip hop has, in his eyes, lost its masculinity. Talk about a bold statement, but wait, there's more. Dash also recounted an awkward moment with Nori from their Drink Champs interview, where he refused to drink Ciroc. He claims he made Nori take shots of it instead, leading to some embarrassing moments on camera. He said, I'm like, nah, I brought my own liquor. That's a serious power move. Who else would turn down Diddy's drink? It really makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes, doesn't it? Now, Dame didn't stop there. He even pulled Jay-Z into this conversation, sharing a wild story about getting way too drunk on Duce, which led to a wrestling match with Kevin Hart. He said, I ended up wrestling with Kevin Hart. I was like, yo, I don't get this drunk. It seems like Dash is connecting some dots in a very unusual way. Because what's crazy to me is if his hustle is putting stuff in people's drink, he made a liquor. I mean, that's the illest shit in the world that everybody was partying and you don't know what was in that drink. And if he was, pause, undercover gay, because I didn't know it. And obviously if he was knocking men out and they were waking up violated, he's making somebody gay that doesn't want to be gay. So I'm like, what was in them drinks? And then I'm starting to think like, damn, when did hip hop start to lose its masculinity? When did dudes, and again, no disrespect to nobody, but like tough niggas started wearing dresses and pocketbooks, like, like maybe that could be the reason. And I'm, you know, I'm just thinking it through, like maybe that could be the reason why Hip hop took a turn for the feminine because that shit, if homie is, was really putting shit in people's drinks and he's making the liquor, you know, they, you know, and again, I don't know, and I'm not even saying it to be funny, but they saying, you know, homie was putting shit in, in motherfuckers' baby oil. So how could you trust that person to serve you drinks at such a, a, a big scale? So I'm remembering Nori so adamant about me get taking a shot of Ciroc and I'm like nah and I brought my own and, and now y'all can understand why I always want to make my own so I brought my own liquor you know what I'm saying I was taking shots of my own and then what happened I made him take shots of uh, Ciroc and then he ended up getting too drunk talking about take your shirt off and all this type shit it's on tape so I, I, it ain't like you just you just naturally start to think of things. And then I, I, I was thinking there was this one time that when my daughter was 16, uh, Jay had a show and my daughter wanted to go. So I'm like, yo, I'm not going to deprive my daughter. So, I, you know, I hollered at Jay, sent the kite and told him I wanted to go to a show with my daughter. And they accommodated me, accommodated me to the fullest. People were really surprised to see me there, took pictures with everybody. But, and again, Emery's my brother, so I would hate to think that he was fucking around like that, pause. But he kept asking me somebody, that was the first time I had tasted that douce, and I got ridiculously drunk to the extent, and my daughter and I were talking about this the other day, that I was like, yo, I, I don't get this drunk. Why am I so drunk? And I ended up, Pause. Wrestling with Kevin Hart. He pause. Nigga got me in a chicken wing, and I remember uh, Vaughn taping that shit. And I'm like, Yo, why are you taping, Vaughn? So I'm thinking, I'm like, Damn, cause homie makes drinks too. And 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 again, just if this is true, 
these are the things that I'm like just reflecting on. And if, like, if, if I wouldn't have played everything completely by the book, complete honor, then I could have been compromised. And what would have happened if I ever woke up feeling some kind of way? Compromise. What would I have done? And he's trying to distance himself from any implication that Jay could be involved in Diddy's legal troubles. He hopes that Jay hasn't been involved in any shady dealings, despite the craziness surrounding Diddy right now. So what do you all think? Are Dame Dash's claims just wild conspiracy theories? Or is there something deeper going on with Diddy and the hip hop scene? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest in the music industry. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Carpet Reup, and we'll see you next time.